वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जेंटलमैन वेलकम टू माई चैनल चीफ इन यर्स टी टाइम टॉक एंड आई एम रमेश एंड आई विल बी द पायलट हु विल गाइड यू टू दिस चैनल एंड अप्रोप्रिएटली सो द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज अ पायलट ऑपरेटेड प्रेशर रिलीफ वाल डोंट रीड टू मच इन टू दैट एनी वे इट्स अ वेरी वेरी वर्सटाइल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक सर्क्यूट्स एंड इट विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर अ ऑपरेशनल मेरेन इंजीनियर टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस pilot operated pressure relief valve uh, it will really come in very handy for trouble shooting uh, okay keep watching take care hope you enjoy the video what we are seeing here is a pilot operated pressure relief valve this forms a very important component of many circuits used in marine machineries and it is quite important to understand the concept and working if we desire to have a very good shot at trouble shooting it is the beginning of hydraulic control at the very basic level and you may see it used in circuits like cargo valve operating power pack or in any engine or in framo in this video we will understand the concepts and working and also see it being applied in real time circuit as used on board now let us have a look at the basic components here i got this main line which is holding a particular pressure p and then you can see a poppet so let's draw this poppet this is the poppet and then you can see the main spring here then you can see a small plug here and then you have the this entire thing is the direct relief valve with the knob for setting the pressure now you can see that this poppet is actually sitting tight on that seat and not allowing this oil from the main line to go to the tank that means if the oil can cross this poppet then it will be going to the tank so this is the way to the tank now let us see why is this poppet not lifting up what are the forces which are keeping it closed you can see that the force due to the pressure of the main line right that is trying to open the poppet so here we can draw it so you can see that this is the force due to the pressure of oil in the main line and then there are two forces which are keeping it shut what is that the same pressure is acting from the top on the same surface area thereby the force is same to keep it shut and you have the force of the spring which is keeping it shut now why is this pressure which is the main line also acting to keep it shut from the other side look very carefully you can see there is a orifice here see there is a orifice here and through this orifice the oil from the main line can always go and occupy this space see this oil is also also occupying this space and the pressure is acting to close it and the same pressure is also acting on this valve see the entire space is filled up by the same pressure which is existing in the main line now if you see the balance of forces i got a force because of the main line pressure i got the same force because this force is this pressure is acting on the exactly the same area from the other side so i got the same force acting to close it i call it as the pilot pressure plus i have the force due to the spring tension which is called fs now you see this force due to the main line pressure and force due to the pilot pressure being equal and opposite the spring tension is more on the right hand side so i would say that this force the relationship comes thus the force on the trying to close so let us call it this is the trying to close the poppet is much more than the force trying to open the poppet now when the pressure in the main line increases watch very carefully when the pressure in the main line increases 
what we are going to have is the pressure is going up and this pressure as i already explained to you is also already acting on the other side that means this pressure is also acting on this direct relief valve correct so that at one particular pressure this direct relief valve is going to open up now let us see what happens when this direct relief valve opens up so there it is you see the direct relief valve has opened up so now what we are seeing is the pressure which was there on top of this poppet trying to close it is now released to the tank correct that means you are losing this pressure if you lose this pressure this pressure is now suddenly reduced effectively what is going to happen the relationship is going to change and how will it change how will it change now the force because of the main line pressure trying to open it is going to be much more than the force trying to close because this pressure has reduced thereby the force trying to close is reduced so what is going to happen obviously you can see that this is going to open up you see you see it is opened up and now when this opens up the pressure in the main line this particular pressure which you are seeing here will not increase any further that means we have restricted see we have restricted the pressure in the main line and how is this pressure restricted where is it set it is set by the spring here that means by this knob this knob is the one which is going to decide when this thing is going to open up and this uh pressure from the top is getting released so this knob is going to decide what is the maximum pressure this main line is going to be subjected to now there are a few more things which i'd like to highlight here the symbol of a pilot operated relief valve is supposed to be denoted like this you can see here so this black this black triangle denotes that it is a pilot which is going to open the pilot pressure which is going to open up this relief valve otherwise a relief valve a simple relief valve will be shown like this right this is the symbol of a simple relief valve whereas a pilot operated relief valve will have a symbol which will have this black triangle hopefully because there are many manuals where they are not very careful with the symbols they might not even tell you that it is a pilot operated relief valve but it will be one okay so if you look at it probably you can understand that this is the line pressure which is going to be controlled correct and when this pressure becomes high correct this pressure is now strong enough to open up this spool this arrow is denoting the spool this spool this will open up the spool against the spring pressure you see the spring is on the other side of this pressure which is acting to open spring is trying to close this is on the other side again the spring pressure and of course we also so see that the pilot pressure which is gone to the orifice from the other side is denoted by this black arrow so the black arrow and the spring are on one side and the dotted line which is denoting the main line pressure is on the other side of the spool here and of course when the spool opens up what it happens is the line goes to the tank so this is how i can correlate the symbol with the actual equipment now this symbol business can be a very nasty business uh, it's very tough uh, because uh, the maker decides what symbol he wants to use some of them will just show it like this in a very simple way some of them will you show it in such a detail and then they'll show a symbol like this this is also pilot operated relief valve now this particular thing which you are seeing here is basically this this is the place where i am setting the pressure and you see this arrow here it says i can set the relief valve pressure so this is the direct relief valve which is this part and this one which you see here this one is showing that it is a cartridge type of a poppet which is denoting nothing but this particular area of the relief valve so basically he is just uh, it's a very detailed view of this but then you have to see a combination of this symbol you should say that it is a pilot operated relief valve 
anyway having said that let us not get into the nitty gritty of the symbols at the moment because we we'll lose our focus we will now proceed to the next step the next step is what is going to happen if i remove this this particular plug what is going to happen that's what we are going to talk about it's very obvious if i remove this plug right if i remove this plug the pressure of oil here in this chamber which is trying to keep it closed will not be there it is as simple as that correct so with this particular point which we have noted let us proceed and go to the next step so there we are so this is a very very interesting part look at this what have i done i have removed that so called plug which was here keeping this oil on the other side the top side of the poppet arrested and creating a pressure that i removed and where is it gone it is now actually drained you see through a solenoid i removed this plug and connected to a solenoid and it is in a drained position when this oil is no longer there obviously you all know that the force due to the main line pressure which is acting on the poppet is going to be much more you see this is also going to be much more the same thing equation is still there force because of main line pressure is going to be more than the closing force because this is effectively not there this is not there you just have a spring fellow trying to close so this remains lifted up so what is the effect my main line pressure is now draining to the tank right that means i have almost zero pressure here and when i have zero pressure in the main line what do i call it i call it as unloading that means because of this draining of this oil to the tank from the top side i have unloaded the entire main line now if i want to bring back this main line pressure what i need to do is i just have to close this by energizing this solenoid look at this as soon as i energize this solenoid so let us make a mark here as soon as i energize this solenoid what i have done the flow of oil from here to the tank is now shut i have blocked it so obviously the oil fills up here here and then this force okay this force is back into picture then what is happening now this becomes bigger correct and this fellow is closing back you see and then i have a huge pressure here developing correct whatever is supposed to be decided by the uniqueness of that circuit that pressure will come okay see all along this valve is remaining shut so what is the purpose of this valve this valve is the maximum pressure setting maximum pressure setting or this is the setting which is restricting it the line pressure here do the maximum which is decided by how much i am going to operate this knob and this one is just loading and unloading the circuit so i have used this solenoid as a unloader and the symbol is just one step ahead from what we just saw the same symbol but then i am adding a unloader that means i am using the top part the oil pressure from the top part of this poppet see top part i am just connecting it to a solenoid which can be operated from a remote station and i can either load it or unload it so the entire circuit will be like this the symbol will be like this you need to understand that it is a unloader and very soon i am going to show you where is this unloader uh, in which part of the ship or in which circuit of the ship we are using it so just hold on now what you see here is another small deviation or adaptation of this concept instead of a unloader i have put a direct acting relief valve here so now the effect of this is depending on what over pressure i set maybe 50 100 200 it doesn't matter whatever i set here in this relief valve correct that will be the decide the setting of the main line pressure here the main line pressure which is here the pressure of the main line is going to be set by remotely by this small direct acting relief valve 
and listen very carefully and the maximum pressure in the main line is still going to be decided by this safety valve here this is also direct relief valve but this is going to decide the maximum main line pressure maximum main line pressure see how it is developing so beautifully and this fellow is setting the it is uh, it is uh, uh, it is deciding the main line main line operating pressure mainland operating pressure see there are two different things doing two different jobs and uh, there are many equipments in the in the late 80s uh, where you know in fact i if i if i am not mistaken the in the framo of the 80s when electronics was not there so some concept like this very similar was there that is the way chief officer was setting the mainland pressure in the framo ships something very similar let me not say that the same circuit it's something very similar but you got the concept right okay we move ahead so just a few visual images of this pilot operator relief valve of course they don't mean anything much to us as a operating marine engineer it's just to say oh it looks like this but now let let us quickly move on to the application of this and see it work or see it being positioned in the real time circuit of a ship i am just going to show you part of a circuit of a ship this one being a cargo wall operating power pack circuit cargo wall operating cargo wall operating or ballast wall it doesn't matter cargo wall operating power pack now you see where is a pilot operated relief valve and how is it used as unloader you all know that the pump here uh, cuts in or its loads let us call it whatever it is the pump starts pumping correct so the 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 oil starts flowing here or here from here it goes here through this check valve and goes and fills up the accumulator correct once the accumulator oil is going up right because of the nitrogen is there the pressure goes up in the accumulator and at one particular pressure which is set by the set pressure switches here there are two things which which can happen now either i switch off the pump which lot of ships you can see the pump is cut out and then as you use the oil from this accumulator you open and shut from 10 valves the oil level is less the pressure is less and then the pump cuts in this is one method i mean the pump uh, starts again is one method the other one is the pump continues to run but it is just loading and unloading that means the pump motor electric motor of the pump doesn't stop the pump continues to turn with the electric motor is just that the pumping stops how is that done by this pilot operated relief valve here and how is the unloading and loading done by the unloading and loading solenoid which itself is operated by the pressure switch here so that's a very simple application of the entire concept we saw here so if you have a ship where the electric motors are not stopping and starting they are continuously running that means the hydraulic circuit is loading and unloading so that's how you can correlate whatever this thing you saw here so let me just quickly show it to you that means when now it see now it is unloaded right it is unloaded now when my pressure falls when my pressure falls at this particular pressure cut in pressure my solenoid just shifts here and closing this draining so what is happening the pressure here will lift up the spool and then the oil from the pump will go back inside the accumulator so this is a very simple way of loading and unloading a cargo wall operating circuit which may be there in 50% of the ships which you are sailing another example now you see this is the circuit of a me engine startup pumps the ma and bmw me engine the startup pumps are like this now you see you will be if you are not very familiar with the symbols you will be a little bit um, 
not very excited to see such things especially if the engine is not starting or because of some hydraulic problems but this is nothing is it's absolutely very simple you have two relief valves here okay and this is what i said be careful because to my knowledge these two are pilot operated relief valves but the symbol is not so so that is why you have to be very careful don't take the makers symbols or the manufacturer symbols at face value please check it out it may be a bit misleading at times because in the mop screen it shows like it is a pilot operated relief valve but in the in this circuit it is just showing as a simple relief valve anyway here you see both of them are pilot operated relief valves this is one and this one is also pilot operated relief valve but with the unloading facility and you can see you can see there are two solenoids here both the solenoids are basically in parallel that means it is redundancy the solenoid this second solenoid is for redundancy redundancy there are many more uh, applications of this particular uh, pilot operated pressure relief valve on the ships but we will restrict to uh, these two just to get a feel of it and uh, then that's it uh, we will uh, sign off from here see you in the next video thank you so thank you for watching if you really like the video please don't uh, forget to like subscribe and share for all those who are going for exams all the best for all those who are sailing happy troubleshooting have a great time see you again in the next video thank you